What's up guys? Welcome to Visualization. Again, this is Nestor Adiansen and today I have a really really nice tip to share with you guys. How to synchronize slicers on other pages in Power BI Desktop. So here is how we do it. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at this report. This report has three different pages. The first one is collected premium. The second one is shipping cost. And the third one is the delivery company. Okay. So as you guys can see, we only have one slicer, right? Which is here. It's right here. And of course, we have our claims table and we also have our dates or calendar table. And this is slicer. This belongs to year. Okay. So our goal is to sync this slicer across these three pages. So how do we do that? This is how we do it. Okay. First thing that we want to do is go to view and right here on the right side, on the top right side of your computer, you can see sync slicers. So let's hit that option and automatically you can see a new window. It says right here, sync slicers, right? And of course, we have right here three columns. The first one is the page name. We have three different pages. Here are the names. And we also have right here the option sync, the sync option, right? So it's right there. And the other option right here, the other column is the visible column, okay? So we know that the slicer is part of the first page. It's right there, it's selected already, right? So our goal here is to sync this slicer across these three different pages. We can sync with this page and we can sync with the other page, with the delivery company page, right? And also we can make the slicer visible across these three pages. So how do we do that? Let's select these boxes as well. Boom, there it is. So after we do that, let's close it. So now let's double check our work. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go to this page real quick, the shipping cost. We can see the slicer right there. And also let's go to the delivery company and we can also see the slicer there. Okay, so what would happen if we select 2011, for example? So let's see what's happening. Let's go to the next page. There it is. It's already selected. How about the other one? It's already selected. So that's how it works, guys. So these three pages are related, okay? And of course, we had to use the sync slicers option. How about if you wanna select two more years, let's say 2013, hold down control, select 2013, and also 2014, there it is. So we have three years. If we wanna check the other pages, we can do that as well. The three years are selected as well. Let's check the other page, there it is. So this tool is very helpful if we have multiple pages as part of a report. And of course, if we wanna filter just once for all pages, right? This is how we do it. All right, guys, I hope this was very helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you, guys, and see you next time.